welcome to this vlog, everybody. Happy Monday. We are starting off with a grocery haul that was actually not planned, so that's why I ended up with these paper bags. I always try to bring my reusable bags, but I feel like half the time I end up like when I'm just out and about, and so I didn't. Anyway, welcome to the vlog. Happy Monday. This one's ripping. Let's get into it. Also, this is just like a little haul. Like I already have a lot of stuff. I feel like I just needed like fresh vegetables and fruit and stuff. So I'm not this help healthy, you guys know. I have a sweet tooth. I think this is all like fruits and vegetables though. Okay, spinach, peppers. Do you guys have grocery hauls like this where you're like, okay, I have all the like pasta and rice and bread and stuff like that that stays good longer, but like this is the stuff that goes bad quick that I go through and then I need to stock up on like produce, you know? Baby tomatoes. Sweet potatoes, raspberries, chicken. Hopefully these are okay. Eggs. This is also like a grocery haul for like me by myself because Max left this morning and is gone for the next three or four days for hockey. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to like be on my health and wellness grind and cook my meals at home and not order out because that was my New Year's resolution. Kale. I haven't had kale in a minute, but I was just inspired because I saw a TikTok of um, how good kale is for you, like a certain, wait, did I get broccoli? I hope it's in there. Oh good, yeah, it was saying that like broccoli is so good for you, you should have it like every day. And it was saying that kale is really good for you, you should have it. whatever, stuff like that, so I was inspired. Um, also I was inspired, also saw on TikTok, cottage cheese. People are eating cottage cheese on toast. I don't think I like cottage cheese, but I thought I'd just get a little container, try it out. They're like, it's so good for you. It's like high in protein. I saw a girl put it on toast with honey, and I'm like, okay, that I could get behind. That kind of sounds like if you've ever had like ricotta with honey as like an appetizer places. Sometimes I have like toast with like ricotta and honey. Anyway, so we're gonna try that out. Um, I think last but not least, I told you this was just a quick little haul. I got four bunches of celery. Does this indicate to you what I might be up to? Um, I ordered a juicer. I'm so excited. This is my health and wellness vlog, apparently. <laughs> but not really, you guys know me. I'm, I'm full of balance, okay? It's all about balance because, oh, <laughs> trying to prove to you. See, like, I'm gonna try to juice celery, but then I'm also gonna eat my chocolate cookies, you know what I'm saying? But my bestie Taylor has been in her juicing era, and she's been telling me how she loves her celery juice so much, and she literally knows the difference, and she's been, like, doing her celery juice every morning, and she's like, you literally need, like, one stalk gives you, like, one drop of juice, so she was like, you need a ton. I ordered the juicer that she got. She sent me the link. I was like, I'm influenced. So, yeah, that's coming, and we're gonna try that. Maybe tomorrow, because she says that she does it, like, in the morning, first thing on empty stuff. So maybe we'll try that tomorrow morning. I'm excited, but yeah, welcome to the vlog. Also, um, I did a little TikTok after the day, maybe you saw, of Brody and I at the park. We also walked to the park this morning and I was wearing this entire outfit, but shout out this sweatshirt. I just got it, but it was so cute. I actually have the exact Nike style sweatshirt. Um, in gray and I love it so much. It's like the perfect oversized crop little situation and I saw in Revolve they had kind of like a fuzzy Sherpa one and I was like, mm-hmm, yeah, sign me up. Love that. And I think it's so cute. So I can link this for you guys. Anyway, grocery haul complete. I'm gonna put all this away. Also, I should say we still have this banner up. If you saw my last vlog, I decorated for Max's birthday. Today is actually his actual birthday. I got to see him for like one second in the morning driving to the airport, which is sad. So I'm not really with him for his actual birthday day, but we had these like fake birthday celebrations yesterday. Just like early birthday, if you will. But I'm just gonna keep it decorated because it's like cute and fun and then maybe we'll keep his birthday celebration rolling when he gets back. So yeah, I'm literally just gonna keep all of this up. The 28 balloons. <laughs> Be festive, why not? It's way later. <laughs> Brody, your little tail every time I talk. <laughs> Cutie. Sure you can tell, or maybe you can, but it's dark out. My bed is like calling my name right now. Probably because you're in it too, looking extra cute. But this is a perfect time. Shout out to the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Helix Sleep, for working with me on this video. If you guys didn't know, our mattress is a Helix Sleep mattress the most comfortable mattress of all time. I never sleep as well anywhere else in any other bed. I always just switch. I was back home in my bed. We've had our mattress for over two and a half years now, which is crazy that we've been here in Pennsylvania this long. And it's just literally the perfect mattress for us, huh? It's like no complaints over here. Come 
Kainan. <laughs> I'm joining you. Is this map in your sleep preferences too? I think so. It would say, I sleep on my back. <laughs> I can't with you. Uh, basically, the reason our mattress is so perfect for us is because we are matched to this mattress based on our sleep preferences with their Helix Sleep Quiz, which I think is one of the coolest parts about Helix. So you can answer questions like, you prefer sleeping on your side, on your back, on your stomach. You prefer a soft, medium, firm feel. Max and I like a medium feel. We typically both sleep on our sides. And so that's how we are matched with the Midnight Lux mattress is our specific model. And yeah, it was just so simple and easy. It came shipped right to our door, all rolled up, like vacuum packed. So it was shipped really fast, shipped for free. And the setup is also so quick and easy. It just like comes to life. I can insert the footage right here of like almost three years ago now. Uh, I always love looking back at that because Brody's a little baby in it. <laughs> you can visit helixsleep.com slash Gretchen to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. They also have a 100 night sleep trial to make sure you love it. Just in case you don't, they'll pick it up. You'll be refunded, but you will have the best sleep of your life on your Helix sleep mattress. I get so many DMs from you guys thanking me for recommending Helix to you and that it's like change your sleep quality. I always remember one DM in specific that was like, literally my time to fall asleep is like cut in half. Like I fall asleep so much quicker now because I'm just that much more comfortable because this mattress is literally tailored to like your needs. They also have flexible payment plans and financing options. Also 10 year warranty on their mattresses. It's honestly unreal. And again, thank you so much Helix sleep for working with me on this video. Good morning. I just left yoga the next morning and I'm feeling zen. Like I just want to crawl back into bed. Don't get me wrong. I was like that was such a lovely start to my day. But now I'm like sleepy again. Like I, I think I kind of like doing yoga in the afternoon or evening to like make me calm down after a really long day. <laughs> You're next to me. probably like what are you doing talking to a camera? But no, that was so good. And now we're gonna go try juicing some celery. I've never juiced before. All I want is a coffee, but I guess we'll start with that. Here said juicer. Is this going to be like a whole thing? Like, is this gonna take me forever to juice? I've never seen someone do it. I've never attempted. I've always heard that they're a pain in the butt to clean, but Taylor, promise it's easy to clean. This package looks a little banged up. <laughs> okay. Hamilton Beach juicer. The... <laughs> I feel like it's like covered in dust. I got it on Amazon. Hmm. Okay. I'm kind of freaked out. Why is it all like dusty? Maybe just from the package? But it looks like scuffed up. <laughs> this is a pre-owned. I didn't check my Amazon. It's looking kind of beat up a little bit. Do you guys see what I mean? Well, I'm sure it'll get the job done. I looked back on Amazon and I remember when I bought it, it's saying this has a damaged box. And I was like, that's weird, but like, whatever. And it was just like one left in stock. So I was like, okay, fine. And so one that my friend had and said that was really good. But I don't think it said it was like pre owned or refurbished or anything, unless I just didn't catch it. But it says this on the box. Thanks to this part of the second line. So maybe it's pre owned. Whatever. Maybe we're just going to be sustainable eco-friendly queens over here then. It'll be fine. I'm sure it's fine, right? I don't think you'll like that. <laughs> okay, I just did some reading on this specific juicer. I think I figured it out. I cut off the bottoms of the celery and cleaned them, and I'm sure that all of this will give me like this much juice. I also feel so late to this trend. I feel like celery juice trend has been a thing for like years now and I remember when everyone was first doing like fresh pressed celery juice in the mornings. People were saying that it like helped their digestion, cleared up their skin, helped their like autoimmune disease, whatever that would be. Like whatever, there was just like a ton of benefits. Um, so I'm so late on the bandwagon, but we're gonna try it out for funsies and try to be a health and wellness queen. <laughs> Here goes nothing. 
Okay, I'm nervous. Why did anyone tell me it was so aggressive? <laughs> shook because that gave me way more juice than I thought it would. Oh wait, also I'm realizing, oh, well I had it in the fridge but this probably isn't going to be that cold. I'm going to want like it in ice. We did it! Okay, I'm going to like keep going with the rest of my celery and just make like a big jug of it I guess. Okay, now it's going everywhere. This is so fun. <laughs> All of that celery made this, which I got, guess is more than I thought. I just started with a little on the rocks. Haven't even tried it yet on the rocks. I can't with myself. <laughs> um, I haven't tried it yet because I wanted you guys to see my first reaction. So I just did a little and then the rest like perfectly fit into these two mason jars. I thought I was going to need more. I definitely ordered a pack of like eight or ten back in the day and all I could find, there's actually a couple more but I couldn't find the lids. I found two lids, two mason jars with like kind of a broken this one's probably gonna leak but somehow it all fit into these so <laughs> I need a better like storage method but like it really isn't that much juice and that was like two full bushels of celery if you will I have two more but I figured I'd wait um I want to show Max in person he's gonna be like what the hell's going on okay ready should we try it I'm so afraid right now because I've definitely had like celery juice like in a bottle that you buy somewhere but I just feel like <laughs> I just did all that work I'm gonna <laughs> expect it to be good and it's not gonna taste good I mean, it smells like celery. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, it's not horrible. I will drink it. It's definitely a lot like lighter than I thought. I thought it'd be even more celery. I mean, it tastes like celery juice, but it's like less celery-y tasting. And I bet ones I've had before, they add like lemon or other stuff like that. So this is very like, more like bland and mild than I would think. But like not good, but I feel like something I could like chug, you know? Just like do it and get it over with. Like I like the taste of athletic greens so much more. And that has like all the superfoods and vitamins and stuff in it and stuff. Like, what does celery even have? Just celery? <laughs> like probably good like antioxidants. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. This is for you, Taylor. <laughs> okay. Just drove here. Really Gretchen. I'm editing right now and I said I just got here but I didn't even say where I arrived at. Springhouse Dermatology, which is where I get my lip filler. I didn't even say the name till later on. Springhouse Dermatology. Here's the before. Definitely still have my syringe from last time. But I just want a little more plump, a little something. We're gonna go with whatever Dr. Weissar thinks is best. Alrighty, we got the numbing on. It's so funny because it feels so weird and I feel like it just looks like normal to you guys, but I can't feel my lips already. I remember when I first got them done, I was like, it feels like I already got lip injections because the numbing makes your lips feel like kind of swollen and funny. Also, when it gets in your mouth, it tastes like... Now we chill for like 10, 15. I feel like I'm about to drool. <laughs> but seriously, this is like the best part about coming here specifically because I feel like the number one thing I heard about getting the filler is how bad it hurts. My cousin when she first got it passed out, so many people say it hurts so bad. When I got it done, I literally didn't feel it. Like whatever numbing they use works so well. Yeah, if you ever got lip filler that hurts, come here. Or if you haven't gotten lip filler and you've thought about it, come here because they do such a good job. Like it's literally not bad at all. Oh, I got 
that reason. That's 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 that's
See, are we even in the frame? I don't know. <laughs> are you happy now? I saved him some sweet potato. Oh, yes. That's it. He got it all. <laughs> look at the bowl clean. Good boy. Okay, when I look at these, it feels like Valentine's Day. Didn't even show you. Look at these flowers that showed up. They actually smell so good. They're like making my kitchen smell delicious. Max always does such a good job at picking out flowers for me. I always like love the bouquet that he chooses, like the colors, obviously like pink roses. Oh, I just think they're so pretty. I feel like he'll mix it up and do different ones like every Valentine's Day, anniversary, birthday, stuff like that, but like I just always love them. He has really good taste is what I'm trying to say. They smell delicious and they're making me happy. It's later, I'm trying to be fun, you guys. I only wanted three cookies, so I'm only making three cookies. I guess this is what you do when you're alone is break up cookie dough, stuff like that. You know, it's like so sad cooking for one person, in my opinion, instead of like cooking a ton of food for like a bunch of people. Anyway, that's just me and you guys know my journey of spending time alone. We're doing great, but all of this is to say. Making three cookies and I just, it was actually very difficult to try to get them into a hard shape. I wanted to be a little festive for Valentine's Day since it really doesn't feel like it at all. But these are the Sweet Lorenz oatmeal cranberry ones. And it's kind of like a crumbly consistency as is, so they're like breaking and falling apart. I guess we'll see how they turn out when they're cooked, but yeah, I just thought this would be fun for us to do. And I was in the mood for cookies. Okay, while well, our cookies are in the oven, I just want Arnica tablets. Ew, that's gross. They're just falling under my tongue. Um, also, big swelling is going up in my lips. I feel like they're, <laughs> they look crazy. They feel so like tight and they like, her but also i haven't iced yet which is completely my fault i feel like last time i got lip filler it wasn't like they weren't swelling up as much later on and of course i'm like that, bruise. that one bruise is obviously coming in but the arnica tablets hopefully will get rid of it quick and i'm gonna start my icing right now while my cookies are in there i'm happy i had this from last time they gave me this little ice pack i don't need it lord knows it's like the perfect mouth size ice pack <laughs> okay it kind of worked I knew they would kind of like just the shape of the heart would lose form while they were cooking, but you can still tell. I think this is still a success. I think they're so cute. I hate when my camera does this, the weird lighting thing. I feel like it only happens sometimes and not other times. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is these turn out delish. Mm, mm, mm. So festive. Look who's sitting here waiting for a piece. I don't think you can have. Well, it's probably better than a chocolate chip time because you're allergic to chocolate chips. You can't have that. I don't think you can have this either. Have I get you your own cookie? Hmm. I love you, bestie. Love you. You just love my cookie. <laughs> it's three days later. I planned on waiting a little bit because I wanted to wait a couple days to show you guys like the healing process how the lips are looking. They look scary right now because I'm still sweaty from my workout and have like nothing on my face. Obviously you can see <laughs> elephant in the room bruising, but this is like really barely any if you think about it. Like I feel like some people like their whole lips can be bruised. So I just have right there and like obviously up above a little bit, but I already feel like, especially day two, I feel like is when the swelling is like crazy. I'm like, I cannot film. Cause in my opinion, like the day after they're first injected is when they're the most swollen. So I feel like the swelling has gone down a lot. It's obviously just like the bruising, but it's so easy to cover up with like lip liner and lip gloss and stuff. It doesn't even bother me, but I love the way they're turning out. I was gonna say, I feel like the swelling has gone down mostly, but I feel like they say they're fully how they're gonna be after like two weeks. So I'm sure they're still like a little swollen, but I love them. So that's the update. And the flip, I don't know about. I don't know. Now I'm getting confused because I swore it was like to help like flip, right? Like keep it up. But then I also feel like I've heard people with like really gummy smiles where like, you know, and their lips like all the way up here and you see their gums. My mouth is like so 
not like that but you know what i mean when you can see a lot of your gums when you smile they get a lip flip because it'll help like relax their lip so then i think like it brings it down so which is it does anyone know because i feel like it's kind of brought my maybe like it like the lip itself is like up but then like the skin right here is like relaxed so it's like down and up like at the same time i still like my smile i feel like some people say with a lip flip your smile can kind of change i feel like maybe you see the a, less of like the top of my teeth but Whatever. I'm very happy with how they're turning out. They're healing quite nicely. I haven't been that good with icing. I need to be better with icing. That's like my fault. But I've been keeping up with the Arnica and everything. You can start that like a couple days before. Keep going a couple days after and that'll help with everything. Clearly it helped. I also think I kind of was like touching it right there. So that's probably why there's a bruise. My fault. But yeah, that's the update. Okay, ending off this vlog here. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.